the Kanem Bornu Empire, located in the Lake Chad region, rose to prominence under the leadership of the wise and strategic ruler, Maidu Nama Dabalemi. His vision was to expand and consolidate the empire's power, bringing stability and prosperity to his people. Maidu Nama Dabalemi launched his first military campaign against neighboring tribes to secure vital trade routes. His well-trained cavalry and archers swiftly overwhelmed the enemy, ensuring control over the lucrative trade in salt, gold, and slaves. To further expand his empire, Dunama Dabalemi set his sights on the fortified city of Zaza. He employed siege tactics, cutting off supplies and bombarding the city walls with catapults. After a prolonged siege, Zaza surrendered, becoming part of the Kanem Bornu Empire. Recognizing the importance of alliances, Dunama Dabalemi forged strategic marriages and treaties with powerful neighboring states. These alliances strengthened the empire's position and secured its borders against potential threats. The empire faced a formidable challenge from the city-state of Kano, which resisted Kanem Bornu's expansion. In a decisive battle, Dunama Dabalemis' strategic use of flanking maneuvers and surprise attacks led to a resounding victory, cementing Kanem Bornus dominance in the region. With the newly conquered territories, Dunama Dabalemi focused on strengthening the empire's infrastructure. He built roads, established trade centers, and promoted agriculture, ensuring the prosperity and stability of Kanem Bornu. A coalition of rival tribes threatened the empire's control over Lake Chad, a vital resource. In a fierce naval battle, Dunama Dabalemis' fleet, equipped with innovative war canoes, secured a decisive victory ensuring control over the lake and its resources. The empire's capital, Gangzargamu, faced an invasion by a powerful enemy force. Dunama Dabalemis strategic defenses, including fortified walls and hidden traps, successfully repelled the invaders, showcasing his military genius. A rebellion erupted within the empire, led by a discontented noble. Instead of crushing the rebellion with force, Dunama Dabalemi employed diplomacy, addressing the grievances of the rebels and integrating them back into the empire, strengthening internal unity. My Dunama Dabalemis' reign brought unprecedented prosperity and power to the Kanem Bornu Empire. His strategic brilliance in warfare, diplomacy, and governance left a lasting legacy, ensuring the empire's dominance for generations. Under Dunama Dabalemis' successors, the Kanem Bornu Empire entered a golden age of cultural and economic prosperity. Scholars, artists, and traders from across Africa and beyond came to the empire, enriching its culture and economy. The empire faced a significant threat from the Kingdom of Yao, a rival power seeking to expand its territory. Dunama Dabalemis' descendants, following his strategic teachings, devised an ambush that led to a decisive victory over Yao, securing the empire's borders. The Kanem Bornu Empire sought to control the Trans Saharan trade routes, leading to a series of battles against desert tribes. The empire's use of camel mounted warriors and knowledge of desert terrain proved crucial in securing these vital trade routes. In a rare moment of vulnerability, the empire faced a large scale invasion from the north. The Kanem Bornu forces, led by a descendant of Dunama Dabalemi, employed guerrilla tactics and strategic retreats, ultimately repelling the invaders and preserving the empire. After successfully defending the empire, the Kanem Bornu people celebrated their victories and unity with grand festivals. These celebrations honored their ancestors, including Dunama Dabalemi, and reaffirmed their commitment to the empire's future. To strengthen the empire's political TIs and ensure long-term stability, the ruling dynasty arranged strategic marriages with neighboring states. These alliances brought peace and prosperity, further cementing Kanem Bornus dominance. Recognizing the importance of controlling the waterways, the Kanem Bornu Empire built a formidable navy, 
This expansion allowed them to dominate river trade and secure their maritime borders against piracy and rival states. In a bid to control the rich trade city of Gao, the Kanem Bornu Empire faced off against the powerful Songhai Empire through cunning strategy and alliances with local tribes. Kanem Bornu emerged victorious, securing a key economic hub. With control over key trade routes and cities, the Kanem B.